Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with a first impression slash reviews and this is the new Bare Minerals Bare Skin Pure Brightening Serum Foundation. Bare Minerals, most of you, if you know anything about makeup, have heard of Bare Minerals. They have been around for years. They are known for their mineral makeup. This is their first ever liquid foundation makeup. I had to run out and get this because I used to be a lover of Bare Minerals makeup and then over the years I just started getting into more liquid foundations. I was super excited when I saw this at my local Ulta and I had to give it a try, especially with the summer months coming up. It's supposed to feel like bare skin. It's something new, it's something different, it's something fresh. So we will see together how this works. If you want to see my first impression slash review slash demo of this new product, then please stay tuned. I just want to go over some of the claims that Bare Minerals is making about this new foundation that they just came out with. And it says it's a breakthrough tone correcting mineral foundation and skincare serum in one. So it's not just a foundation. Created with exceptional purity in mind, this ultra thin skin perfecting fluid provides seamless adjustable coverage and natural finish and the look and feel of beautiful bare skin while delivering a more notice noticeably brighter youthful appearance. Made with the bare minimum ingredients and formulated without water, oil, silicone, parabens, or fragrance, it's like nothing you've ever felt before. And everybody that they're supposed to be very, very healthy for the skin. And I know their claim used to be that it was the makeup that you could sleep in, even though I don't recommend that. And it's supposed to be formula for all skin types and skin tones. Famous no makeup look and feel, coconut derived based with jojoba coated mineral pigments and brightening ingredients. And it says 100% of women experienced more evenly toned skin immediately after application. And 95% of women experienced a measurable improvement in the appearance of dark spots. I have a lot of hyperpigmentation on my face. Did go over some reviews and they all seemed pretty consistent on two things. For oily people, you probably will get shiny throughout the day. The brush that you purchase with it or that they recommend you use it with is not necessary. Foundation by itself was $29. The brush that they recommend you buy with it, this is the Bare Minerals Perfecting Face Brush is also $29. Watching some of these reviews, like I said, all of them were very consistent on this brush not working any better than um, any of their other face brushes. And I will be returning this so that I can put $29 back in my pocket. And there is also another way um, to apply this makeup that again, I saw consistent reviews on that will make this makeup last longer use it more sparingly and it will this bottle will last you longer you get one full ounce of um of this product and it does have an spf of 20 in it that being said i'm going to go ahead and go into my review and demo and show you exactly how i'm going to apply this makeup and see how it wears throughout the day. I am going to apply it in a different fashion than what uh, you are actually supposed to. You take this little dropper and you drop it into the reservoir on the brush and you buff it in, but I am not going to do that. Shake it very, very well. So you shake it up and it has the little shaker balls in it. And this color that I purchased is actually Bare Latte number 11 and there is 20 shades in the collection. I did prime my skin with uh, Professional by Benefit and then I went over that with Max Mattifying Cream. Here is the brush that I'm going to use. This is the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. I love this for my foundation. I'm going to actually pop two drops on the back of my hand and what they say is two drops is a light to medium coverage two to four drops is medium to full coverage and I think like four to six drops is full coverage foundation is how it works. So this is what it looks like if you can see that. It's very thin and then I'm just going to take my finger and kind of rub that around and then pop that on my face. Just kind of dot it on one side of my face. I still have a little bit left on my hand but Let's just see how this goes. I'm just kind of stippling it in first. And then, yeah, I don't know. The shade might be too dark for me. Super, super blendable. Wow. Just two drops, two, not even two drops, probably like one and a half drops on this side of my face. 
and then nothing on this side of my face. So I still have all my redness and hyperpigmentation. If you can see all of that, hopefully the light is not washing that out too much. Pretty amazed. This is exciting. Okay, let me. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side of my face. I do have just a little bit left on my hand, but I'm gonna add two more drops and do the same thing on the other side. Got it on my face. And $29 is not bad for a high-end foundation, but obviously, if you're spending $29, you wanna make it last. <laughs> so now I'm just buffing it in on the other side. Might be just a smidge too dark, but not by much. Four drops easily covered my entire face. It's an absolute flawless finish right now. I'm gonna go ahead and do two more drops just to see how blendable it is, or how, not blendable, how buildable it is. Alrighty. Let's do this. Because this feels, like it doesn't feel sticky you know how you have some foundations that can feel really sticky on the skin? This is a total of six drops on the skin. And that definitely gave me a full coverage look. This is super buildable coverage. So far, I'm absolutely loving it. Okay, so I'm going to go put on the rest of my makeup and see how that applies, and I will be back. All of the rest of my makeup applied so seamlessly and perfectly. I'm in love with this makeup right now. I'm going to do some flash photography so that you can see what it looks like when you are you know, taking pictures with a flash. And I'll take a few without a flash as well so that you can see. And I will update you guys throughout the day. And at the end of the day, I will have my final review and show you guys how it held up all day long. So make sure that you stay tuned. Okay guys, so this was right after a 40 minute workout on the elliptical and this is with my other camera, so excuse the quality of this video, but I just wanted you guys to see how the makeup has held up. So it is now a little bit after 11 p.m. So that's why I'm trying to be quiet because everybody's in the bed and I am just getting to bed because I couldn't miss the finale of The Voice. This is what it looks like after, oh my goodness, it was what, one o'clock I think or a little bit before one when I actually applied the makeup and now it's a little bit after 11. So almost 12 hours of wear. And the makeup, even though I might be a little bit shiny, the makeup has not moved at all and my my blush is still on but I just wanted to get you guys to see exactly what it looks like at the end of the day so this foundation has me sold I have to say I am so super impressed with how well this foundation has held up throughout the day I would give this makeup probably a 9 out of 10 and that's coming from an oily girl. I would definitely recommend trying out this makeup especially for the summer months but apply it the way that I applied it and I think your makeup is going to last you a lot longer meaning the bottle of makeup is going to last you a lot longer um, and you're going to get more of your money's worth. So I am very tired. I am ready to go to bed so I just want to say good night and thank you so much for watching this first impression and review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this, please let me know in the comment box below. And until my next video, peace out.